Hello, welcome to Social Research Insights. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the STM 8S103 F3 P6 microcontroller. Uh, I just bought this microcontroller from eBay.in for just about um, 200 Indian rupees. Uh, this is actually one of the cheap w Chinese version of the original ST micro microelectronics in cooperation of Switzerland. So in this video I'm going to show you how to put these header pins together and uh, solder them to the to the main board of the STM 8-bit microcontroller. So let's get started. Hi, this is one of the microcontrollers which we are going to use in our uh, tutorials. This is actually the the STM8 microcontroller. The name of the microcontroller is STM8 S103 F um, P something else. Okay, and this has Estelink. Uh, this is manufactured by the Estelink Corporation, and it has a microcontroller on board. And I think you can see that microcontroller. And it has three ports that uh, this is the port D, this is D4, D3, something like that. Reset. Uh, I don't know, this is D4, D5, D6. Reset A1, A2, and after that, it has ground 5 volts, 3 volts, and A3. And next, uh, this is a port A. Port A starts somewhere in here. here. And uh, there is other. And here again, we have something I'm not able to see very clearly. The 5 volts pin, and this is the pin for the pin of the V port C, C3, C4, C5, and something like that. So it has approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 10, 20 pins, and, um, and there, are, there are 1, 2, Three, four output pins, and the microcontroller has. See here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pins and ten pins, and this microcontroller has twenty pins, and these are the twenty ten uh, right side and ten left side, or either side the pins. So these are the output pins. These are actually the pins which we can make use to control the the components and these are the the pins that helps us to work with the programmer okay and this is actually the small uh, the USB port which goes to the computer and this is actually the reset pin these are the two onboard LEDs the this is actually the voltage controller this unit can try to control the voltage in the board and, uh, and this is all about the the STM8 and uh, here, here we have uh, kind of you know the the header pins which we need to uh, insert into these uh, pin holders and then we got to assemble them so that we will be able to work with this STM8 STM8 okay and now we are going to make this assembling we're just going to put these pins and uh, make the try to assemble this uh, STM8 okay for that we need to have some sort of the, the micro the micro uh, solar gun which is meant for the micro boards and perhaps you can also make use of this type of uh, the like uh,
think finally I could make you make something something that might work so I could make my soldering but I am not able to use my this one this is just useless and finally I just have to go back to my the old soldering old soldering but I think I could make some sort of finally I can make some sort of work with the help of my my old soldering rod okay so this is how we can just make soldering possible with uh, thank you i did a small mistake actually this uh, the pins that goes to the programmer programmer in the sense like uh, these pins these pins should not should not be this pin should be the opposite side i mean this pin should erect from the surface of the board where the controller is at so the other pins should be the other side of the controller but whereas the the pins that takes the program from the computer should be should be the main face of the board so this is a small uh, mistake that i did earlier but i think i removed these pins from the other side i mistakenly uh, assemble these pins to the to the other side of the board but after that I removed with the help of this uh, soldering gun and I I resoldered it to the main case of the board so this is a small uh, the correction that I need to that we need to do while uh, assembling these uh, header pins to the STM8 uh, bit uh, microcontroller uh, board